Hi everybody, welcome to Mondays with Mark. Um, today we're going to talk about something that's important to runners, but um, important to just about every human being. Uh, what we're going to talk about is posture. Um, so with posture, um, there's two main um, groups of muscles um, that are important with posture. The first group of muscles um, are the posterior chain. And the posterior chain consists of, obviously, your, your neck muscles, your spine muscles, your glutes, your hamstrings, and your gastroxoleus. Okay? So those muscles impact the posterior part of your posture. So when those muscles are strong, they tend to hold you back, right? Those muscles are balanced by the anterior chain. The most important muscles in the anterior chain is your pec, your rectus abdominis, your obliques, your transversus abdominis, the quadriceps, and the anterior and posterior tibialis. So those two groups of muscles balance this group of bones that you have there. As you can see, the bones by themselves would, we wouldn't be able to stand up, even if you line them up perfectly. Um, they are held together by muscles and by a series of very strong ligaments and capsules. Running, um, posture as related to running, um, we want to veer a little bit um, away from the ideal posture, which is what you see here, where the, if you draw a line from the middle of the head, it goes through the middle of your shoulder, through the middle of your hip, the middle of your knee, and the middle of your ankle, okay? So when we're running, we want to veer five degrees from the ankle from the perfect posture, okay? So if you have, if you have really good posture, which is there, and then you lean five degrees forward, which you will fall if you do it properly. Um, you want to be at five degrees. Why do you want to be at five degrees? Because when you're at five degrees, you move your head off of center, and that causes your body to fall forward. Running is a controlled forward fall, and so hence the ideal um, running posture is slightly off of center. Um, the most important muscles um, to have strong uh, for posture and the ones that get the weakest in most people are the posterior chain in the upper body um, and the, the muscles that are typically the culprit are the rhomboids um, and the latissimus. So they pull your shoulders back um, so that's one of the more important muscles, muscle groups that you want to strengthen. Um, the rectus spinae that run along your spine. The rectus spinae obviously extends your spine. And then the glutes. The glutes control what happens at your pelvis. Um, the hamstrings pull on your pelvis as well. So if your hamstrings are too tight, they'll pull your pelvis down. If your hamstrings are too weak, your glutes will overpower them. Um, and then the gastroxoleus, because if your calves are tight and you can't come over them, you'll be over here and it will pull your pelvis back. So that's the relationship of the posterior chain. But again, the most important muscle group to strengthen for your posture is the rhomboids and the upper trapezius. The muscles that counter that is the pec, the pectoralis major and pectoralis minor because they pull your shoulder forward. So that in the, everybody strengthens the pec because that's what we look at. That's what makes us look buff. Um, but we actually want to make sure that the pec is lengthened because the pec is what overpowers us, overpowers the rhomboids and the lats by pulling us forward together with gravity. So we want to stretch the pectoralis and strengthen um, 
the rhomboids and the latissimus, the upper, the upper, middle, and lower traps. So, um, obviously, posture is a very complicated topic. Um, next week, I'll discuss a little bit more about the anterior chain and then um, a little bit more, more how it relates to running. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys next week.